Uh, he just says, uh, take, take one. <laughs> yeah, and then he, he just takes one and, and he starts saying that we're going to define this function on the open set that's not part of the measure. And your x needs to be between a and c or between, this, between here, here, here. It's, it's really weird how he does it. But yeah, that's one of the words. That's an I N K that we're looking at. That's an I N K. Yeah, and, and I and K is between A and B. Yeah. Okay, he's saying that well the function we're going to define here, your x is either going to be between A and C, and there's the the book is easier to see. You can see that graph that they have there to scoot them up. Yeah. The first one or the last one is squiggle over here, in which case you're going to be between those two points. Or you can be in the middle here, you can be from C. So this B plus A minus C. So. Oh, okay. So in the middle there, C is displaced from A. C happens something. And then on the other side, it's A plus B. The C, the C between the A and C. You're going to have the same flip on the other side of the function. Okay. It's flip over. Okay. Okay. That was the plan to set the big one. Okay, that's the middle third set. Okay. Here's what Paris discussion. Ah, okay. So uh, the first one here. That, that we have in the book, instead of doing this x minus a squared, we have this x squared sine 1 over x. You can see the squiggle it makes, and our book just has it bounded. And he. Oh, okay. So we so, reflect that. So we're reflecting it on the other side. Yeah. So. We have the x now equals 1/8, and we have the mirror image, so x is between 1/8 and 1/4. So this is really what the book's kind of trying to show. And it's just, I thought it was easier to look at it with actual numbers in there instead of just x minus a squared. Oh, no. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> so I really like uh, to this is from some professor I can get the four numbers here. you have the URL for this? Uh, yeah. I can can you shoot that to me now? I'll just get that off the way. I'll mean, study it. Right. In, in the book, you can follow it, but it gets a little confusing without numbers. Trying to think, you know, think about the cancer set, yeah. where you're dividing everything off. So this is our function, f1. Okay. 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 F1 is the differential function. But the limit doesn't exist. And x approaches zero for positive. Right, it's that x squared sine one over x. Right. So this is this it's differential, but then the derivative is not continued. Right. Okay. So I see this kind of the same same thing that you showed us with uh the uh, the cosine roll for trying to do the x squared. Yeah. It's kind of the same, yeah. it's kind of like the same concept. You can see the sign, it, it's bounded, and our book says it's bounded by 3. Uh, this guy is 1 point, whatever, after 1 point, whatever down is coming. Okay. Uh, basically, they're just going to take this function and slide it over. So basically, what he's trying to do is this He's showing like if you're inside the function versus out, like inside your C, your cancer set is a positive measure versus outside of it. Here's going to be outside the interval. 
this slide won't copy over. Each animal of one sixteen that was removed from the Smith Home Jack Panther site. So the idea is to pepper the interval of integration with these discontinuous balloons. Right. So we just we just move them over. So what basically what it's going to show is that we have like an uncountable many discontinuities in our derivative. So therefore it's you can't integrate it. How could we uh, uncountable? Uh, we every time we re iterate this construction, you have a finite number. It's only in the end points of these little bit that we have a, a discontinuous group, right? And it's finite. So finite and many, and then out of the infinite and many, the finite and many is still count, right? I was thinking we count, but I didn't read that once. It's gotta be but they they're dense because you you're making them smaller and smaller and plastering them everywhere, you know, right? Right. Measure of, of the right of the SVC set 
and then the oscillation on, on that set is always at least two. So the integral has to be two times at least two times one half. That's greater than one. Okay. Now looking back at the book though, the book does it differently, but I kind of like to have a number to look at, so what he decides to do is he's going to take the 